Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Paul Yo Jr. I turn that off. And in today's video, I'm going to show you uh, a problem that I've been running into trying to install uh, Windows 7 on a relatively newer computer. Now I'm trying to install it using a bootable thumb drive that I have. And so it says setup is starting. And then I get this error message. Uh, required CD slash DVD drive, device driver is missing, uh, blah, blah, blah. If you have a driver, floppy disk, CD, DVD, or USB flash drive, please insert it now. So um, basically saying that um, we can't install this operating system on uh, this laptop. So without installing a specific driver. So what I'm going to do is show you one of the best ways to make this disappear, make everything work. So this is, um, there's a couple other ways, but they're really uh, not as prevalent. This is one that's a very, very prevalent um, uh, scenario that you can fix very easily. So I'm going to restart the computer. So I restarted the computer, trying to get this glare off of there. And now I'm going to go to, um, we want to go to our BIOS. So F10 is actually the BIOS for this HP. And we want to go to, um, to do, so for this HP specifically, it's in system, sorry, it's in system configuration. And from system configuration, we want to go down to USB 3.0. Uh, configuration in pre OS and right now it's enabled so what you want to do is actually just click or hit enter and then change it to auto so obviously so basically what this is doing so exit saving changes yes so basically what this is doing is allowing um, so when the laptop is being booted uh, from a USB drive, um, whether it be a thumb drive or whether it even be a USB CD-ROM drive, <clears throat> it is putting the um, it's putting the USB drive uh, as a as if it were USB 2.0. Every USB port on this laptop is USB 3.0. So when doing the auto, the laptop is seeing um, the th every USB port as a USB 2.0, which is what this is. It's not a 3.0, so that we can actually install the operating system. So, because Windows 7 uh, never had the capability when it first came out to support USB 3.0, so it's just not going to recognize anything 3.0 related. So. Okay, so we did that. All right, and now we see that this has come up. I accept the license terms, and I'm gonna see, we're already in here, custom advanced, and then do what you gotta do. So I don't need anything on this hard drive, so basically what I'll be doing is just deleting every single um, partition here, and then going, um, and then installing uh, Windows 7 on the hard drive. So that's all I'm doing. But as you can see, this was a very simple solution. It doesn't matter what um, computer or laptop you're using. If you can get into that section to make the um, in the if you can get in that section in the BIOS. To run the three point USB 3.0 under auto, then you should you should be good and should be able to install Windows 7 uh, or any other operating system that you're having trouble trouble with. So um, that's all I have. So thank you very much for watching. And as you can see, everything is working fine since we set the USB 3.0 to auto. And let's see, should be good here. It should start installing now. So, all right. Yep, that's it. So, yeah, like I said, any laptop or computer you're using, just go into the BIOS settings 
and look for that section to put the uh, USB 3.0 USB 3 um, to auto instead of enabled. So, all right, that's all. <laughs> See you guys in the next one.